Okay, you guys, your next comic, this guy is super well dressed, man. He's a slick dude. Give it up for Akba Kawel! Welcome, Shalom. <laughs> My name is Akpa. And I know what you're thinking right now. Bald is not the natural color of my hair. <laughs> they say bald people have all the fun. Wrong! <laughs> I tell you what bald people have. One choice! This is all I got. So I decided to go back into the closet. <laughs> the alternative lifestyle is too stressful. Apparently, angry black man is not the only alternate choice I had. <laughs> I found that that particular lifestyle comes with the style of living, yeah, homelessness. Because <laughs> white people do not like angry black men named Akba. <laughs> My advice if you're black and you feel misunderstood, keep it to yourself. <laughs> the one good thing about that, being misunderstood for that time, at least you're employed. <laughs> so to offset my blackness, I married a white woman. <laughs> I figured one white person at a time, I'll win them over. <laughs> <laughs> Truthfully, um, I, I don't feel black enough. It's like I'm chocolate coating on the outside, but on the inside I can swim and can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, walking around the project telling my friends that uh, resistance is futile, it bode well. <laughs> so I'm very racially sensitive when I'm with my wife, so I'll say, hey, hey, can you pass me those crispy brown thin things? Crackers? I can say it. <laughs> called me something the other day that I'm not sure if it's a compliment or an insult. She called me an enigma. <laughs> but we weren't going to use those kinds of words. <laughs> so my, um, <clears throat> my, uh, my stepmom is Jewish. And when I was a kid, our house was a place that all the Christian neighbors would come to to hide their gifts for their kids for Christmas. <laughs> Only I didn't know that. <laughs> I remember my first Hanukkah. <laughs> I opened every gift I found in my parents' closet. And I thought, Judaism rocks! <laughs> I had 15 gifts. And they were all big ones. So I thought my parents were way too honest with me. They told me things like, uh, there's no such thing as the Easter Bunny. There's no such thing as black leprechauns. <laughs> there's no such thing as two feathers. And I remember thinking to myself, what are they going to tell me next? I'm black? <laughs> Thank you so much. Everybody, yes.